very uh, creative in the use of financial products, the naming and stuff like that. So kudos to you on that. But at the level of advanced project aid, especially when you want to sell something, in this case, an investment product, I expected a little bit more. And what do I mean by a little bit more? Now, when you want to sell something, you need to get into the picture. And how do you get into the picture? You need to find out who are your target audience. Who are you speaking? You do not start off a conversation by saying, I understand you're a bit tired of bear view. People are not here to bear view. The only thing they are here to bear view is whether they should give you or throw, away, or throw their money at you. That's the only thing that you want them to do to you. They shouldn't be bearing view. You should give them a reason to say, this is what the weight is worth. Me selling you something called Poseidon or Neptune. In this case, Neptune. But the idea is, in, you are filled with a room of college graduates. In this case, if I were you, I would position it as I'm selling a product, selling to young adults. Now, young adults are different from old adults. Why? Their attention span is different. It might be a little bit shorter, having a shorter attention span. They want what is the benefit to them straight away. So when you say things like you get a 10% return, you invest in water, should you tell them why is water dif different from buying uh, investment link product? Why is it different from investing in gold? Why is it different from investing in stocks? Because all these kind of commodities, all these kind of investment products, all of them know. But when you bring in a commodity like water, I don't know what the hell is water. I didn't know it's for bathing and showering and drinking and chewing and someone. The idea is, why should they buy an obscure product which they have never heard of? Even more so when you're selling a product which is unnatural, which is uncommon, it takes a little bit more convincing to do. So with that, your slide should not be about words. And I noticed your slides, very tame words. You have the blue color background, but that was it. Show pictures, don't show numbers. If you do show numbers, make sure it's only just two digits. 18% is your return. If you invest 10,000 now, you get $1,800 back. And I know all of you are young graduates, you'll be embarking your first job. I understand most of you will be you know, locked in for your first job. You'll be spending more. All I ask is just invest $200 a month. Or save $200 a month. Because young graduates do not save money. Because I'm one of them. <laughs> the trick is, understand if you ask one, if you are selling a product which is range from 5,000 to 2 million, my point to you is what exactly are you selling? Are you selling a premium product? Are you selling a product which is for mass market or are you selling your product for just specifically on affluent customers? So you really need to brand your product. Who are you actually selling it to? Now, I think at the ending part, what is your call to action? Ultimately, what do you want them to do? Saying that uh, my investments are right, my, my bank advisors are here to answer your comments. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> your investment advisors are here. The way you say it, it's very, very, again, very tame, very subtle. Once again, always go back to who your target audience is. Your slides must be customized for your target audience. The way you speak must be customized for your target audience. If you're speaking to a group of lecturers, old people, you can sound subtle. Because if you come off as too brash, too loud, people will just think you're arrogant. But if you're here, talking to young adults, you say, I know what is it like to graduate. I know what it's like to not have money, but I found out about this product ever since I joined this company. And why is this product different from stocks? Why is it different from bonds? Why is it different from gold? I'll tell you why. All I need as a person is to invest $200 a month. Ma majority of you will earn about 2.5 to 3K a month when you graduate. All I ask is $200. For guys, it's just an IP PC. We're just so work hard on that. <laughs> so the thing is, relate it back to your audience. Tell them why should they part their money with you. And when you come in with your, with your suit and blazer and tie, very good. But again, if I were you, I would roll your sleeves up a bit. Because again, who are your target audience? They are here after school, after work, they are tired. They want something fresh, something in they want They don't want something to look like their finance actually to come and tell them more about stock options and why should they invest in that. So Keen, welcome to the corporate world. It's not easy to sell a product. I've been there before. There's so much to learn, so much to do, but the first step is, if I were you, do not apologize for giving a presentation late. The only thing you should apologize is, you sell them too little, and you should be selling them more, all right? If that's being the case, if I might summarize your presentation in uh, four or 
forwards get to know my first one. Your audience. <laughs> All right, you're probably a little bit tired. But I'm not probably a little bit too bad. Okay? Thank you very much and have a good day.